We visited with Israel's political and military leaders to hear about the threats they are facing from nations in the Middle East. The current Prime Minister of Israel, Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu, plainly talked about the threats Israel is currently facing from Iran, Syria, Lebanon, and the Palestinians, some of the very same nations Ezekiel wrote about. Here is what he believes is taking place in the world. If you look at what has happened politically, not economically to the world, but what has happened politically to the world, what has happened in terms of politics and security in the decades that have uh, passed since, you see a clear trajectory of the rise of militant Islam. You see uh, it uh, not only taking over countries, uh, which it has, but also uh, extending its sway over uh, many people in, the, uh, in a very large continuum of, of uh, Muslims. Uh, obviously, there are two strains in this, uh, uh, in this dogma, the militant Sunnis and the militant uh, Shiites. One burst out in Iran, the militant Sunni, uh, Shiites, uh, in 79, and a decade later, the victory of the Mujahideen heralded the rise of, uh, uh, of Al-Qaeda. Obviously, they haven't been able to take over the majority, and even the minority is small, but the minority of a very, very large majority is troubling in itself. Uh, but their goals are unlimited. Whatever their success is so far, they don't intend to stop. Uh, they continue. They've been competing with each other, each of these militant uh, strains, who will produce the greater spectacular, the more spectacular successes uh, for uh, the creed. Uh, the militant Sunnis have bombed New York and have bombed Washington and have bombed uh, uh, the other targets that Al-Qaeda has bombed through from, uh, uh, from Bali to the European capitals. The militant uh, Shiites in uh, Iran are openly racing and boasting that they're racing to develop uh, nuclear weapons. Uh, with the explicit uh, announced goal of uh, wiping Israel from the face of the earth, re-establishing the caliphate, of course under militant Shiite Iranian rule. The caliphate includes the territories from Iran to Spain. Uh, developing long-range ballistic missiles first that are targeted to every European capital and within a decade to reach the eastern coast of the American mainland. And in the process, they've rolled over from Iran. They've rolled over. They're uh, clearly meddling in uh, Iran. The congressional testimony last week described this. Uh, they have already more than meddled in Lebanon. Uh, Hezbollah there now. It used to be said that Hezbollah is a state within a state. It's not clear that that has not been reversed, given that Hezbollah has now some 40,000 rockets which is a lot more than they had before the Second Lebanon War, uh, with uh, there are much more lethal rockets, long-range rockets that can reach a good portion of this country. And this is all done by Iran. It cannot be understood as anything but an Iranian operation. And equally, there is this continuing effort to, they've already taken over its proxies. They've already taken over uh, half of Palestinian society. They've taken over Gaza, and they're agitating to take more. So this is not merely a local problem. This is a global problem. Obviously, if Iran acquires nuclear weapons, everything that we've been talking about will pale in comparison.